So why would there be a choice of retention and inversion or even both in SM1? Now you have to think like this. This is a special cap. When I remove it, okay, I'm thinking of myself as an alkyl halide, a tertiary alkyl halide with R groups around me. So after I remove this cap, what happens is I'm trying to simulate the formation of a carbocation ion where this living group has gone and then we have a trigonal planar structure, a carbocation ion here, C+. Now, we know that a carbocation ion here, this carbon is sp2 hybridized, so imagine the cat, when I take out, I'm the living group, I'm gone now, focus on the cat, it's flat, it becomes trigonal planar, it's flat, okay, it's flat. So the next person, the nucleophile to come in to attack this carbon cat ion, how does he wear this cap? Because it's flat, he doesn't know how to wear a cap, he could choose to wear it this way, or when it's flat, he could choose to take a cap and wear it this way. And now you see there are two different ways of wearing the cap, and the, or the opposite way, so we call this partial resumization with a choice of retention and inversion. Just because the intermediate here is a carbocation ion, it is flat, you have got two possible ways of forming the bond here.